was asked to write for long ago a pitch for a medical a medical drama, and I did. Um, and it was origi originally in, in English, um, but that didn't actually work out, and Cake Neck picked it up. Um, but it was a blessing in disguise because as soon as um, as soon as Cake Neck picked it up and we could make the characters Afrikaans, just the whole world kind of opened up for me as a writer, and I, I, the characters changed, but for the better, and it was it was very exciting actually. Toe ek hoor dat ek een van die regisseers op die reeks gaan wees, uh, was ek aan die begin baie angstig. Um, ek het nog nooit een medische drama van tevore gedoen nie. Ek het ook nog nooit rarig medische drama's gekyk nie. Maar uh, ek was baie vastgevang dier die story uh, wat uh, Zoe geskep het en ek het baie uitgezien om deel te wees daarvan en die uitdaging met al twee arms aan te vat. So when I used to write a, a medical procedural drama, uh, the I thought what would be the the most interesting were we incorporating because doctors, you know, have studied for many years and are at least in their thirties to to be specialists. Um, how do we get young young characters into into a show? And that would be through them being interns, through being medical students and interns at the hospital. Um, and so we decided to make it a, a a training hospital. And all training hospitals in South Africa are government hospitals. And we thought this was actually a really good opportunity to show South African society as it as it really is. We live in a in a very diverse very sometimes very challenging society and so we're trying to reflect that in the show. Before I started I, um, I interviewed a whole bunch of doctors all the way from interns um, up to professors who are consultants so kind of everyone and all the experiences mostly of what it was like to study to be a doctor in South Africa and the trials and tribulations um, that went with that so we started off we we're very lucky to have Dr. Breslin in the room right from the beginning because it meant that we for anything we could ask him could this happen what if what if this happened or we would say something like uh, Oh, something really bad needs to happen in this operation so that she almost loses her job and then he can tell us exactly what could happen. Um, so that right from the beginning he was there which enabled us to um, to incorporate the medical stories into into the actual character stories. Met die skiet van operatie tonele het die medical consultant was nogal baie um, specifiek in die tekst oor wat waar gebeur en hoe en dan ook die mense wat ons op stel gehad het wat ons daarmee gehelp het was uitstekend en dit het het makkelijker gemaakt en ook vir my as regisseer meer kans gegeen om te focus op die story. 